What's up, Exotics fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff. My partner in crime is not here today. Um, as we told you in our previous video, we had a package that was supposed to be delivered to us and it got delayed. So I was able to get it today and Maddox is still in school, but because of the delay, I wanted to get this filmed and get this stuff unboxed and into their new enclosures as quickly as possible. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this. Okay, so first up, we've got our little Death Stalker Scorpion. We told you guys we had something coming that was a little bit deadly, a little bit dangerous, and this is it. So I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that scientific name based on that handwriting. But if you can see it, good for you. So. Um, yeah, we're going to be very careful with this guy. I've got this lid loosened up and I'm going to just stick him down in here and then I'm going to take my tongs and try to just take the lid off. Let's see if I can get this, get this going really good here. Sorry, not used to doing this all one handed. Come here. Okay. So we've got the lid off of his enclosure. These guys are really fast. And I'm trying to just tip this over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop it up like that. And then I'm gonna take these tongs and I'm gonna try to get him to, there he goes. Come on, get down. And there you have it. He's now in his new enclosure. Pretty basic setup, I've just got some sand. We've got a little bit of uh, some stuff for him to hide under, which he just did. Uh, another cork bark here and a little water dish because I feel like even though it is a desert species, um, who's to say they don't like some water? So there he is. This is our uh, third scorpion ever. We've wanted one of these for a while just because I, I think that they're just super, super cool to watch. They're really fast. They're totally different than like the emperor of the Asian forest. So there he goes. Okay, next up I've got my NNC gold form. So it is the Trinidad olive, but it's the gold form. So I'm going to flip this camera around and we are going to try to get a good shot of this guy. Okay, so here we go. Um, they wrote on here very fast. So I've got, I've got his enclosure down in here and um, <clears throat> I've put the enclosure inside of a 10 gallon tank just so that if he does decide to bolt, you know, I've got, I've got somewhere for him to kind of go. So, <clears throat> We are gonna try to do this one-handed the best that we can. So I'm actually gonna set this down in here and I'm going to remove the lid and see if we can get him to come out. You guys get a little bit of the glass rattling ASMR. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he's like watered up in there with some paper towels. So I'm gonna need two hands for this. So let's do it this way. Okay, I tried to get a better setup here. Let me uh, make sure you guys can see this enclosure. And I promise I will get closer to him and make sure that we do get a better shot after I get him out of here. But for now, this is wedged in here like really tight. Holy crap. So I'm just trying to slowly work all of this out. You don't wanna pull on it too hard, too fast. You don't wanna get it all twisted. Um, <clears throat> So now that I got it coming out, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to remove this right over the top of his enclosure. 
And then I'm going to try to prod him from the middle and get him to come out into the bottom if I can. Um, which looks like it's working. Oh, there he goes. Come here. Whoa, look at that. Dude, he is quick. All right, let's get a couple good. Try to get a couple good close-up shots of him before I catch him and put him back in here. Super, super pretty. But like he said, very, very fast. So I'm going to do my best to get him out of here and get it back into his enclosure. But I'm glad I put his uh, new enclosure inside of this 10 gallon tank because he bolted out of there quick. Okay, as you can see, I did get him into the enclosure. Um, sorry we didn't get all that on film, but I, you know, one-handed, just a little more difficult and I'm more concerned about the safety of the animal than catching every single thing on film by trying to do it, something with one hand. He is actually a little bit bigger, uh, a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be, so I'm probably going to have to move him back out of here. I do have some larger arboreal enclosures. Um, and these guys are opportunistic burrowers, but they do web up a lot. So I wanted to give him enough substrate to burrow down. I got a little hide over here already set up, but then I do have lots of stuff in there to, for him to use as um, anchor points for his webbing. So um, I'm probably going to put him in something bigger, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave him in there. Okay, next up I've got a uh, Pamphobedius species nigger color. Um, this is my first experience with a Pampho and he is already, looks like he is kicking hairs and angry and um, I think he was kicking hairs at me. I'm not really sure what he was doing. But yeah, he definitely is, at least he's alive. That's, you know, that's the important thing is that he's survived the trip there's a lot of paper towel watered in here so trying to be careful just like I was last time you know the last thing I need to do is get this awesome gorgeous spider here and then crush it by twisting all this paper towel up inside of here there we go so I've got the paper towel out and now I'm just kind of Pushing him out the other side. Trying to. You can see him just barely kind of crawling out right here. Working his way out. So I'm gonna actually prod him with the tongs. Let's see if I can get him to just go out there on his own into the ground. There he goes. Oh, same thing as the last guy, just right up onto the paper towel. So, I'm going to, he's throwing up threat poses at me. I don't know if everybody can see that or not. Oh, but this is just absolutely a gorgeous, oops, going the wrong way here. Gorgeous, gorgeous spider. Just look at that thing. Unbelievably beautiful. Okay, next up, we've got our Ephibopus Cygnathus. I have no idea if that's how you say that. Um, <laughs> common name is the Blue Fang Tarantula. So we are gonna just try to do the same thing with him that we did with the other ones. You can see he's already kind of up towards the top here. So hopefully he does not bolt out on me as I am pulling all this out and just bolt up the tongs. But this, this wad of paper towels is actually coming out a heck of a lot easier than the other ones did. So that's always a bonus. Okay, um, it looks like it's actually more open on the top than it is on the bottom. I don't know if you like webbed this up or what, but 
Um, I'm gonna see if I can get him to go out this way. That might be a little bit easier. Come on, dude. He is not having it. He's like, no, nah, man. I'm gonna stay right where I'm at today. And I'm, there he goes. He's starting to come out now. Well, he was. <laughs> was starting to come out. Now he's just decided he doesn't want to play that game anymore. There he comes. And we're going to take the paintbrush now. And I'm, I don't even know how much of this you guys can see, but he is pissed. These are squirrely little things, um, which, as you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, we definitely like our super fast, um, kind of more squirrely tarantulas. Um, but yeah, he's he is attacking the brush. Let me see if I can just get you guys some good footage of how crazy this little dude is. It's awesome. I like this. This is this is part of what makes keeping tarantulas fun for me. That you can see he's just a little bit angry, and I'm not trying to intentionally stress him out. I'm not trying to piss him off. Just trying to get him into his. Oh, so there you go. Um, if I can get him to go down, maybe I can actually get a shot of the blue fangs, but I don't know. I'm having a lot of difficulty doing this one-handed, so I am going to turn this off and then I will get some good shots of him after I get him into the enclosure. All right, now that I've got him out, get a better view of him. He's calmed down a little bit. He's got these really cool stripes on his knees. I cannot get a view of the actual fangs right now. But anyway, there he is in the enclosure, ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit sketchy because I've never recorded anything like this by myself. So my little camera helper came down towards the end, but we'd already filmed everything, so she couldn't help me today. But maybe next time, right? Yeah. All right. Anyway, if you like videos like this about all things exotic, invertebrates, reptiles, amphibians, and saltwater fish, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to comment below if you want to see anything about these animals. I guess more about these animals. I'm sorry. Blech, talking's hard. <laughs> and uh, I will leave down below links to our Discord, our merch store, Instagram, Patreon, all the good things. But we are done for today, right? So yeah. say bye. Bye. All right, we will see you guys next time.